Hello, allergens! Hey, everybody, welcome to Allergies Bites. But tastes good! Uh, gluten free. Gluten free? Yeah. We are making a meatloaf. Ooh! And it's gluten free, dairy free, and egg free. So, a lot of people think that you can't make meatloaf or hamburgers or anything without. Um, you, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> they always... I'll do anything for love, but I won't cook that. Ah! Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Okay. That's so sad. So, <laughs> a lot of people think that you can't um, make meatloaf or hamburgers without breadcrumbs or eggs or mm -hmm. anything like that. It's like, you're just pro proud of that one, aren't you? <laughs> Cooking but with loaf, I won't do that. <laughs> but you can. And it works just as fine. So come on in, let's make this really quick, simple and easy meatloaf and we'll get supper ready. Awesome! So I've got two pounds of ground beef, mm. and we're going to put in... He's being punished. <laughs> we got... <laughs> we're going to put in one and a half teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. We're going to put in a quarter of a cup chopped onions. Now, if you want to go like lower carb, you can omit the onion part of it. Okay. Uh, this is beef bacon. Oh, yes. And we're going to put in three ounces of it. Okay, and now we're just going to mix it up. I usually mix it up and then put this in and then mix it up again. Yeah? I might as well just put it all just in at the same time. Forget about it? <laughs> no, I just, I don't know. That's just how I always do it. <laughs> But today I'm going to live on the edge. I'm going to run out of mustard. Okay, here we go. So <laughs> I'm going to put in one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Okay. If you can get it out. If I can get it out. It's coming. There we go. <laughs> Got it. So I'm going to put that in and mix everything up together. Simple, fast, done. Awesome. So I'm not going to grease this or anything. I'm just going to put the hamburger in because the hamburger is fatty, the bacon is fatty. And I'm just going to put approximately half of it in here. And if you don't like want to use bacon, you can use uh, two or three ounces of beef salami or any kind of uh, like a, or a processed meat if you want. Or you can even just leave it out. Sounds good. Variety. Everybody likes variety. Okay, so it's about half of it. I'm not stressing too much on the issue of it being half or not. So I've got this ketchup. We just found this. It's actually pretty cool. It's got a really nice taste to it. Yeah. And we're going to use, as you can tell, <laughs> not much left. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to use uh, one tablespoon. I hope I have enough left. I'm going to use one tablespoon in between our two layers. Okay. Okay. And then just grab a spoon and just even it out on the bottom. Or I guess on the top. In the middle? In the middle. Okay. And then we're going to put this one on top. And that's not hard. No, it's doesn't not seem hard. that hard. No, it's really easy, and you get a lot of um, meals out of this too. Well, normal people would get lots of meals out of this. Yeah, I was thinking that's uh, kind of um <laughs> no. <laughs> if you can do dairy, you can also sprinkle cheese in between if you want. Oh, are we doing that? No. Oh. Are you sprinkling cheese on top? No. Can you sprinkle cheese on top? Yes. And we're not? No. <laughs> <sighs> but we will put another tablespoon of ketchup on top. And then cheese? No. Ketchup and cheese? You can. But we're not. Oh. Because we're being good. With ketchup? Oops, use my fingers. With ketchup. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a gluten-free video, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is dairy-free. It's free. that carnivore. <laughs> it's 
It's not cardboard, it's dairy free. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and here we go. I've got my oven set to 350, and we leave it in for about an hour and five minutes, hour and 10 minutes is usually what I leave it in for. Okay. Okay, and we'll see you when it comes up. Awesome. So it was in the oven for about an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, the pan size, the loaf pan size, is eight and a half by five. Oh, okay. It's inches, so. What I do is I leave it sitting here for five to ten minutes. Let's and then hydrate. <laughs> well, no, it's it doesn't dehydrate, but it just it soaks up some juices and stuff. And then I move it, cut it up, and I discard the juice that's in there. Okay. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful, and this is really tasty. And we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye.